Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update, and it is a powder day across Utah, Wyoming, and in Colorado, where it's still snowing here in Colorado. You can see the radar, that plume of snow, as expected, has set up along I-70, especially the western slope, now kind of running up over the top of the northern mountains, and we're getting some overrun precip across uh, parts of the front range but you can see that's the setup for today it will be heavy moderate to heavy in a number of areas and then it's going to lighten up tomorrow or there may even be a break in the action and then the heavy snow comes back on sunday and probably monday across colorado all right let me show you what it actually looks like so this is aspen snow mass here they're reporting about six inches of new snow in the last 24 hours. It'll snow most of the day today, and again, it'll get lighter tomorrow. But that's a nice view up there at Aspen, Snowmass, Buttermilk. Everybody's going to get that snow today. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning as far as uh, bullet points. So there's your powder day, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. We've roughly two to three storm systems lined up basically now through 4-7 with big totals. Still looking at some sizable bullseyes in a few areas. One of those is going to be the Wasatch. You've got heavy snow coming in this afternoon, tomorrow through 331, and then heavy again on 44 and 45. So got quite a stretch for parts of the Wasatch. Tetons, Colorado, you can see the timing there. Sierra's timing in the northeast. Kind of narrowed down the window, but still looking at heavy snow on 4344, assuming the temperatures do stay cold enough. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery. Um, this morning and just point out a couple of features. So there's our one low pressure that's bringing snow to Colorado that brought snow to Utah and Wyoming. That's moving away. Here's the main trough. So this one's coming in and digging further to the south into California. This one will make a run towards the Four Corners and eventually bring the snow, the heavy snow, back to Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and even New Mexico on its way through. There's another storm system here and another low back here. All this will play into the extended forecast. These are going to go further to the north and become part of a pattern shift after 4-2 where everything sort of drops out of the north. I'll show it to you here on the, uh, the forecast jet stream. So by close of business today, you can see the, that next area of low pressure, the actual trough itself moving into California. Then it breaks loose on 331, heads for the four corners on 401, and then by 4-2 it's gone. But then here comes the next pattern shift straight out of the north, out of Canada. Here's your big trough sinking down with a big storm system, and it just nails the Intermountain West. There might even be one additional area of low pressure on the back side there with a separate uh, trough that tries to move in. And this may last through 4748 through a lot of the interior. So we're going to start off April on an active note. Here's the forecast radar and satellite at 530 today. There's your snow in Colorado. Here comes our low out of California. It starts that snow, refires it over Utah, Wyoming, and then it builds into Colorado. Look at that heavy snow potential there through the Intermountain. And by the time we get into 4-1 in the afternoon, snow across Colorado, northern New Mexico, everything starts to drop away on 4-2. Then we look to the north. Here comes that Canadian connection. Everything drops down. Pretty large storm system begins to sit and spin for at least a few days. Some energy comes in on the back side of it. You can see it happening there on 4-7. So this will keep going if this holds through 4-7 and 4-8. All right, latest grand total map. By late 4-7, I've still got big numbers in the Wasatch of 2 to potentially 4 feet of accumulation. Um, about two feet for the Tetons, looking at about a foot for Big Sky, Red Lodge, Discovery. In Colorado, one to two feet across the western slope. Vail all the way into Aspen, Snowmass, Crested Butte down into Silverton, and the San Juans, looking at anywhere from two to two and a half feet for a lot of the Sierra. And some pretty good numbers through interior BC and also the Banff area. With everything coming out of the north, it should benefit that area quite nicely. All right, so here is uh, first period. Basically, uh, the remainder of today through the end of 3.30, uh, a lot of what you see in Utah, that happens tomorrow with 6 to 12 inches there. 2 to 4 up in the Tetons and in Colorado. Uh, some of that's today, some of that's going to be um, tomorrow. A lot of it is today, anywhere from maybe 4 to 8 inches across you know, the central and northern mountains. Okay, let's go to the next time period. 3.31 through 4.2, another foot potential in Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon, 6 to 12 up in the Tetons. Colorado gets another 4 to 10 uh, with that storm system that comes through, and that basically exits on 4-2. Then we have to look to the north. Everything drops out of the north, 4-3 to 4-7. 
There's at least one storm, maybe two here, and that's where interior BC and Banff picks up a lot of their accumulation, uh, four to 10 inches there, but another one to two feet in the Wasatch. So each period has at least a foot for a lot of the, the Wasatch. Another eight to 12 up there in the Tetons and about a foot for Discovery and Big Sky. Colorado gets four to eight and potentially a couple of feet over Shasta. Okay, one last stop, that's into the Northeast. And the numbers are still big. From what I showed you yesterday to today, there's been some consistency. Assuming the temperatures do stay cold enough, we're looking at one to two feet of accumulation. And again, a lot of this happens on um, four, three, right in that time frame. So um, that's gonna be potentially a big storm system. All right, guys, let's go back to the grand total map. We'll end here on this morning update. This morning's update, anywhere in purple is over a foot. The bullseyes are there, the Tetons. Certainly the Wasatch, parts of the Sierra, and parts of the western slope of Colorado. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here this morning. Always appreciate it, and take care.